Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so I have so much to tell you and this video is probably going to be pretty long because I'm going to try and get you caught up with all of the events that have happened since I got the van. Now in my last video I did the van shakedown and so since then I have driven to Michigan and I've been hanging out at a campground here in Michigan with my friends Mike and Dawn. So stay tuned because there's a whole lot of hopefully great content that's coming to you today. All right, so as you can see, I got a whole lot of stuff to do to get this RV ready to hit the road. Uh, we're not hitting the road today though, but we got to go out and do some errands. So there's a lots of stuff that I need to do. So here we go. Okay, so the last time that we were together, Mike and Dawn came up to Tennessee and they got stuck in the mud. We had so much rain and the area where I normally park Mike and Dawn was pretty wet. And I had hoped that it had dried up, but sadly it didn't. I didn't get any pictures of it, sadly. But here is a picture of them arriving to um, my house. And, uh, of course, it's always nice to see that big old bus coming down this small little country road. All right, everybody. Here comes Mike and Dawn and the big diesel pusher. I'm going to try and get a photo of this, or a video at least. I hear him coming. <laughs> Here he comes. Random Bits RV. Wow. Okay, so Mike and Dawn get to the house, they get parked, and um, they tell me about a campground in Michigan. And they ask me, hey, do you wanna hang out for a couple months in Michigan? I said, sure, I'm down with that. So we, they stayed for about a week and um, at the house. And then from there, um, we hit the road and started going to Michigan. So we're actually beginning our trip to Michigan. Uh, it's been an interesting week of preparations. Uh, when Mike and Dawn pulled into the property, they got stuck in mud. It took us probably a pretty much a whole day to get the front stuck from the mud. Um, and so I actually called upon one of my neighbors who, you know, was amazing. So um, that was that was good. We got the mud stuck and then um, parked them in the driveway. <laughs> so. But anyway, we're on the road. It's been a great week of preparations. Uh, I sterilized my um, water tank, and uh, unfortunately, it was so difficult to to access the uh, release valve that I was so immersed in that I didn't do any filming. So I apologize for that. But um, it's all nice and sanitized now. Uh, I moved everything into the rig, so I'm ready to go. We're going to be in Michigan for just about two months. So um, I'm also going to be doing a work-related activity uh, in the middle of that. So, but I'm headed to Eastern time, people, headed to Eastern time. Now, the trip to Michigan was really pretty cool. Um, it was my first opportunity to take the van out and get it running full speed, full, full, full throttle. And of course, knowing Mike, you know, he's very um, calculated in his routes. So he did a great route. Sorry, I'm getting... There's a lot of bugs up here in Michigan. So uh, he planned out a wonderful uh, route. And uh, so we took off. So here's a couple of pictures of us driving through um, all of the different areas uh, on our trip up to Michigan.
All right, so all the while we're driving, um, the van is doing great. Didn't have any issues with the van at all. And in fact, um, it ran flawlessly. Of course it should, it's a 2023. But you know, you get yourself all worked up over, you know, uh, all the things that you read on these forums. So, but it was nice that it ran so well. And um, I think we stopped at a Walmart and we did stop at a Walmart. So I have a video here I'm gonna show you of our stop at the Walmart. Um, and it was actually very nice. I think it was in Huntington, <sighs> Huntington, Indiana, I believe. And um, it was a, a very quiet Walmart, a huge, huge parking area, which was great. And so, um, I got dogs everywhere, sorry. And so we had a very nice restful um, uh, time at that Walmart. All right, so for van lifers, this bug screen is amazing. If you know, you know. Um, it allows me to leave the side compartment door open and it helps with airflow. And my smart fan is crazy good. Um, really brought in a nice breeze last night. I didn't even have to put the air on. I do have the Jenny running this morning because I did make coffee and I have the hot water heater on. So here's the big vast parking lot. And of course this is Walmart over here. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can really see it too well. And then Mike and Dawn are over here. And somebody pulled in early this morning, so they're here. And then here I am over here. And then we took back off. And so the first day, I think we drove close to 500 miles. So uh, it was a long day, a long trip. Then the second day, I think we drove, sorry, <laughs> I have to edit that out. The second day, I think we drove about 300 miles. So in total, we were right at around 800 miles that we, we drove in two days. So not necessarily, not necessarily the um, length of driving I wanted to do, but nonetheless, we did get here. And so, and again, the trip was uneventful, but both for Mike and, and myself. And uh, interestingly enough, Mike is driving his diesel pusher, as you know, and also had, um, it was towing about a 25 or 30 foot boat. And then Dawn was following behind him in the F-150. And then I was behind her in the, um, in the van. So we were like this huge caravan. And so anytime we needed to pull over to get gas, uh, or just take a break, um, you know, Mike was the lead line leader. So he had to find a spot that could fit all of us. Um, and I think I said this in my, in one of my previous videos where when you're traveling in a caravan, sometimes it can be really challenging to get, um, off the road into a space that's big enough to fit everybody. So, but we did. And of course, Mike being the consummate um, RV professional that he is, um, navigated this beautifully. All right, so let's see. We arrived in Michigan, I think probably about 3.30 in the afternoon. And we decided that we're gonna stay at a, uh, a campground that was owned by people that Mike and Dawn had met in Florida over the winter uh very nice people and um it was my first opportunity to get to meet them when i uh first got into the campground so that was nice this shade is a pain in the butt i'm going to have a later video where i'm working with um living in a bubble and they have sent me some uh new window shades and i'm going to show them to you but before i do that i'm going to also show you the screen that i bought from living in a bubble let me show you the box right here living in a bubble and these guys have been so awesome because they really make you feel like you're a part of a, a family when you purchase um their uh, their products but what i loved about their packaging is get ready your van life will never be the same and it's true and they send you a um a bumper sticker and they send you a nice little sweet keychain of a van and they package the um the screen in this beautiful little pouch living in a bubble and so shout out to uh, my folks with living in a bubble um, for um, working with me on this now i'll be doing a, a full video uh, on their product um, when they send it to me i'm currently in michigan and when i get back to tennessee um, hopefully the product will be there and i can do a a nice review on it so but so far i absolutely love the rear van screen it is perfect for what I do, and um, I'm not sponsored by these guys. So just so you know, this is uh, out of uh, true love for um, these folks because they made me feel a part of their whole family with uh, my first purchase from them.
living in a bubble. And they're a company out of Australia, folks. So if you're in the van life and you're looking for some products for your RV that are um, screens and window shades and whatnot, definitely look them up. It's living in a bubble. I will put their link to their website in the description. So definitely check it out. Okay, so now that I've talked about that, so we get to the campground, I pull into the campsite, and um, my campsite is a weekender campsite, but they were gracious enough to let me have it for an extended period of time. And I have 30 amp power and water. I, um, I do have a filter on it, but I still, have a, uh, I still have a great amount of water from Tennessee, which is my mountain water. So that's wonderful, but I'm running out, so I'm gonna have to get some new water. Okay, so then I start using the RV, right? You know, you have to use the RV. You're sitting here parked in the campground and you have to use it. Well, the first thing that breaks is the bed. So that wasn't any good. And I'll show you that in a minute. But nonetheless, the bed broke, had to fix the bed. Um, then from there, uh, I was washing dishes and I noticed that my kickboard on the um, countertop was all wet. Well, come to find out, I have a leak somewhere under the sink. Now, I don't know if it's under the sink or if the leak is in the bigger pipe that goes to the black tank. So anyway, suffice to say, that's something I'm exploring right now. Then I go to empty the black tank cassette and it's leaking. Yeah. So anyway, make a long story short, I had to order a new black tank cartridge or cassette, which I discovered has just arrived. So I'm going to go pick that up today uh, in the office and get rid of the old one. So this is a very new RV that was, I want to say, lightly used. I'm just rolling up my cord here because I'm getting ready to take off to do some errands this morning. And I figured I'd take you all with me. I don't normally do this kind of video content, but I figured I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and give you some areas of interest that will hopefully, you'll hopefully enjoy. All right, so I'm unhooked with the water. I'm unhooked there. Let me just show you the screen. This is the screen that Living in a Bubble sent me. Well, I purchased, I should say. This screen is immaculate. Now, it's got all kinds of magnets on it, so, but I'm just gonna pull it out here for you. This thing is gorgeous. And it, it fits so easily in the back, and it fits the, the back area perfectly. And, um, I'm going to show you how this all sets up here later in the video. I think in one of my last videos, I shared with you about the microphone system. You can see here, I've got a microphone uh, for my GoPro Hero 5. And I'm hoping that the voice quality uh, on my Hero 5 is far better than it used to be. Uh, I use my iPhone quite a bit for videos, but it's kind of difficult because I'm not necessarily connected with an Apple computer, so I can't just air import my uh, videos and pictures. So it makes it really challenging to get them all off the iPhone. But working on my Hero is very easy to import my video. So hopefully the video quality uh, on this is far superior than it used to be. You let me know, put it in the comments. What do you think about the new microphone? Okay, so we're all set to go. Everything's stowed in its proper positions. Uh, all this is gonna be fine <clears throat> up here in the front. I'm all situated and ready to go here. I do have the garbage I got to take out. I've got a dump and I also got to pick up my shipments from Amazon at the office. So here we go. All right. So I just stopped at the office and picked up my uh, shipments from Amazon. And I'm very happy to report that my Thedford black tank cassette assembly fits. Yay. So that's good. I had to struggle a little bit on trying to figure out, um, uh, you know, the sizing and everything because it doesn't seem like it's a a standard cassette toilet, but I think it is. So anyway, 
All right, so we're off to do errands, and you're coming with me. Okay guys, I'm over here at Murphy's getting gas and I just gotta show you, have you ever seen these? These are mayflies and they're everywhere. They're all over the place. Yeah, I'm over here at Walmart getting, I just finished getting groceries and getting gas, so. Okay guys, so I just got back from running all the errands. So I got, oh, the refrigerator's all stocked and that's nice and then let's see i just made some coffee so i had some coffee and um editing some video from this morning and let me show you my new thetford tank well it's a beautiful day out here as you can see but it's very sunny and hot so but let me show you my thetford tank so you can see you can see it now, i'm gonna need two hands so See if I can just pop one of these out. Okay, I'm gonna have to set you down. All right, I was able to open this up, so let me go ahead and show this to you. This is my new Thetford uh, cassette, brand new. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. And it fits perfectly, uh, perfectly. Hang on, hang on, I'm gonna set you down again. All right, I had to put it back in, but this fits perfectly in this little container here, and I couldn't be more happy. Um, the other one was pretty bad in the sense that it, um, the other one was pretty bad because it was, it had, I don't know, some kind of like crusty marks around it that, um, started leaking. So I had to get a new one. Now you would think for a brand new RV, I wouldn't have to do that, but I did anyway. So that's in there. I don't have to worry about that anymore. And now the next thing is going to be fixing the bed. So if you look under here. I don't know if you can see it so much. I'm going to have to get under there and uh, re-screw the screws in. Now, as I said before, I'm not a little guy, so I'm going to have to squeeze in this little space, but it's got to get done. Okay, so I wanted to show you what this living in a bubble um, screen looked like, so here we go. I'm not normally a full-length kind of uh, videographer, but you get to see me in all my glory today. So let's get this screen up and you can see how amazing it is. All right, here we go. The 
the nice thing about all this is that I have my microphone. So that's really cool. Now I don't want to put it upside down, but it's very easy to put up. Of course, it requires me getting up here and having to uh, bring all these magnets together. So here we go. I like to center it. So the center is where the tag is. Put that right up here at the center of the of the van opening. And you can hear the clicks. And that's all the magnets that are clicking in place. It's really pretty simple. I always like to get the top first and then hold it. The other one's clipped in here. You can hear that clip, clip, whoops. Clip all these up. And that's it. That's it. It's pretty simple to do. It fits perfectly, as you can see. Nice zipper that opens it up and covers the in back. Now today it's kind of warm, so, but this looks really good for when you're camping and you don't want to have the doors closed. As you can see here, it looks really good. It's dark. I don't know if you can see right up on it, but I take you up on it, you can see the inside of it. Right here. The sun's kind of shining in a weird way, so. But there you go. That looks like, I think you can see it pretty good here. So this is a really wonderful um, product. If you're looking at wanting to have some accessibility of your van and the back doors open, um, the other day it was pretty cool here and it was breezy. So I had the side door open and then I put the screen up here to the back door. And this was a game changer, folks. Living in a bubble. Great company out of Australia. I'm putting their link in the description. All right, so when I came back, I hooked up. So I'm hooked up to power and I'm also hooked up to water, as you can see over here. Now I don't have my propane on, but I'll probably turn that on a little bit later. Uh, but here's the van just parked nicely under the shade of this tree. Because I am plugged in, I'm not too worried about the solar, but I, I usually get really good solar out here. So it's a pretty campground. In the evening, this is the back of the campground, so the, it butts up against somebody else's property, but it's full of wildlife. Um, lots of deer. I'm sure there's a lot of raccoons, although I haven't seen any. Uh, lots of squirrels, chickmunks, all those. And so apparently it's going to get pretty busy this weekend, so that all these sites will be filled. But these are all the seasonals here. And uh, some of them have some really pretty RVs. It's a nice campground. Hey guys, so I want to thank you for spending the day with me today. Um, hopefully you had fun watching the video. It's a little bit of a different format than I normally do. But um, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as I end the video, I'm going to go ahead and share with you a few things that we did, uh, I've done since I've been here, uh, going out in the boat and going fishing in Lake Huron, um, setting up my uh, mobile office um, from one of the parks uh, with Lake Huron as my backdrop, uh, going out to uh, Mango's uh, Tequila Bar for some uh, fish tacos, which were amazing, and just generally exploring the area. Thank you so much for hanging around. Thank you for subscribing. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button uh, so that you can be a part of uh, Paddy Wagon Travels. All right, everybody, have a great day, and I will see you next time.